I started this project documenting my journey for morning coffee, a journey I only made a couple times a week. You could say I was a part-time coffee drinker. I would drink two or three cups of coffee a week, one cup at church on Tuesday nights, one cup when I met my friends at our favorite coffee shop on Wednesday nights, and a cup to make it through one of my classes. For the most part, I was a social coffee drinker. Enough about my consumption. Coffee is the second largest traded commodity in the world, sitting right behind oil. Kind of crazy to think about. It is an $18 billion market. Coffee is grown in 53 different countries, all of which lie along the equator between the tropics of Cancer and Capricorn. With the exception of Puerto Rico and Hawaii, no coffee is grown in the U.S., which means we import over $4 billion worth of coffee every year. 52% of Americans over the age of 18 drink coffee on a regular basis. Americans drink 400 million cups of coffee every day. Coffee was originally grown under the shade of trees, but this process is too slow, so forests were cleared and habitats killed to produce more coffee. One acre of coffee producing trees can yield 2,000 pounds of beans, most of which is still picked by hand. So, what does all this mean? And how much does it cost to enjoy your morning coffee? Well, we kill forests and other species, spend millions to transport it, and burn through cups like wildfire. But it really tastes good, and it's such a comfortable feeling to have a nice warm cup on a chilly morning. I decided to only drink from one disposable cup for this entire project. I had always thought that buying a new disposable cup every morning was a horrible for the environment. But all the research that I found comparing disposable cups with non-disposable cups was inconclusive. Basically, in some categories, such as energy used to produce the cup, it was better to use a paper cup, but in other categories, it was better to have a reusable cup. These conclusions surprised me, but I still think it's best to go with a reusable cup, because how often do I actually recycle the cup? Most of the time, it ends up in a landfill somewhere, and that is just me. Think about the other 399 million cups of coffee that are consumed every day in the U.S. So. My one cup traveled with me for a few weeks, the lid doesn't quite fit on it anymore, and it now scares people. Yeah, some people are a little grossed out by it, but the more I carried it, the more coffee I began to consume. Yeah, I almost named it little fella. Well, I did tend to get quite a bit of few, quite a few different things done while enjoying my coffee fix. But in the end, this project about consumption has made me consume more. I started out drinking a couple cups of coffee a week. Now it has become a daily habit. As you can see, I bought my own coffee maker and it came with plenty of packaging. I will now waste extra energy in the morning making a personal cup of joe instead of buying it from the school. In the last 24 hours or so, I've consumed a couple cup pots of coffee. The good news about this is, if you drink coffee black like I do, there aren't any calories. Actually, coffee may reduce the risk of Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, heart disease, and type 2 diabetes. So if caffeine doesn't bother you, and you're not too worried about yellow teeth, cheers!